Hello, I have got a Phantom 2 with a, it's the version 1 that it seems like most people online refer to it as the old version, but it's the Phantom 2 and for over a year I've been using the H3 2D gimbal. Oh. Oh, and this is Wilson and here you want to hold this? And the H3 2D gimbal seems to have worked absolutely perfect. Even after a couple of crashes, I was able to bend it back, and I've never once had a problem with it. Um, and I recently upgraded to the GoPro 4, and even with the... Here, let me see that, buddy, for a second. Even with I the... Okay, you can hold it. Even with the GoPro 4, um, I was able to use it with what the thank you, thank you even with the GoPro 4 I was able to use it the H3 2D gimbal and even a lot of people online at, seem to wonder can you use the 4 black with the H3 2D I never had a problem with it it seemed to work perfectly some people were concerned about weight but uh, I've shot with it multiple times and it seems perfect um, but I was anxious to get the H4 3D when it came out. And so I recently did that. I installed it. I followed the instructions, uh, you know, perfectly. And when I took it out for the first flight, I noticed ex significant shaking of the camera. The bottom of the gimbal seemed to have just enough shaking that it, I definitely never noticed that with the H3 2D. So right off the bat I thought, well that's just pointless, that's going to make the footage look horrible. Uh, to my surprise though, all the footage looks completely good. I didn't see any uh, jello or shaking when I look at the footage. I'm not really sure how that's happening. But anyway, when you look at it, just as you're flying it, I can definitely see it shaking back and forth. Um, I've installed the anti-interference board on the bottom right there and I have upgraded to the latest firmware on the Phantom and you know as you can see in the video it's it's it seems totally smooth so I'm not really worried about it but I'm curious if anybody has any things to say or suggestions um, I the only thing I've not done is I haven't switched out the little dampers right here. Right now I'm using the white ones that came with it. It seems like everybody online, some people say, no, use the white ones, no, use the black ones. Um, also, I have adjusted the gains in the assistant software. Some people were saying you should kind of change that from 125% to 100%. Then some people I read were saying, no, don't do that at all. That's silly. You're just supposed to leave that as it is. Um, I did do it once. I didn't seem to notice any difference. Uh, if it was, it was very minute. Uh, but anyway, uh, if, anybody wanted, if anybody wouldn't mind just giving me some suggestions about how to stop this shaking. Uh, like I said, it's not showing up in the video, but um, I guess I'm curious, is it anything to worry about? Also, I noticed today when I took it out for a test flight, I reached out and held the landing gear as it was flying, and when I held it tightly, it seemed to stop completely. So I don't know if it's... Also, I should point out, I am using the adapter um, that goes on the Phantom 2 version 1, which if you have the Phantom 2 version 2 or 3, you don't need that, but I'm using the little adapter um, for the H... 4 3D, and it's the same one for the H3 3D. So anyway, um, that's my problem, and if anybody has any suggestions, I would appreciate it. Thank you very much.